Welcome to the farmhouse. Today I've got some gift basket ideas for you. I love to collect baskets that are kind of in a farmhouse style and I collect them year round. And now is the perfect time to send these away as gifts and start over collecting in the new year. I feel like they have a really old fashioned look and I love that about them. And they're also really sturdy and a great base for you to put your gifts. The size of your basket will determine the price point generally. And you can get really creative with the types of baskets that you choose, as well as the size. And I thought this one was really adorable and really Christmassy. I also found this Banneton basket for sourdough bread. And I'm going to be making a baker's basket with this Banneton basket as the base. So I'm going to be starting out today by building a food hamper, which is a classic Christmas gift. As a base for the baskets, tissue paper is a really great option. And there are so many cute designs available. And I've chosen a couple of Christmas themed and then a couple of neutral colors. I also have some clear gift wrap that you can use to enclose your basket. And this is a traditional way to do it. However, you don't always need to use it. And I'm not a huge fan of the look of it. But in some instances, it's definitely going to help keep everything together. I also bought some simple craft tags at the dollar store. And then I bought a few different types of ribbons. And ribbons can add a lot of flair to whatever you're decorating. I'm also going to be using some cedar branches and some different greenery inside of my baskets just to give a really nice Christmassy touch to my baskets. All right, so for the hamper, I decided that I was going to use more neutral colors because I really want my greenery to stand out. I'm just going to be kind of hanging this over the edge a little bit. Now I've got this black tissue paper and I already decorated this year with some black ribbon. And I know it's an unusual color for Christmas, but I I'm really liking it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that. Okay, so I still want some of the neutral beige to peek out with the black. And now we're going to put some of the greens in there. And I just went out to our forest and picked this last night. But if you have any, if you have any woods near your house or anywhere that you can go get them, it just looks really beautiful and really natural. I want a couple peeking over the edge. Because this is a deep basket, I can really build this up. But that's probably pretty good. I've got a bag of potatoes here and these are from our garden, but you can make store-bought potatoes look nice if you just put them in a clear bag. And I just use this simple jute rope to tie the bag with just to give it more of a natural feel, which is the look I'm going for. So we've got that. I also have a sugar pie pumpkin and I know my mom will make some pumpkin pies out of this. So I'm definitely going to give that to her. I've also got some fresh garden carrots that just came out of the ground actually. And I know she's going to be loving those. So that's going to go in there. At this point, I'm going to add a few extra greens because the other ones have kind of tucked down 
quite a bit. And I really want those to show through. I also have some homegrown garlic that I'm going to throw in there. As well as some parsnips. And then I've got some shallots. And I wrote that on a little gift tag because shallots are not as well known as other types of onions. So we're just going to lay those right on top and we're just going to build this up. I've also got a couple of these baby butternut squash. I also went to the store and purchased this sourdough bread bits, which is perfect for the stuffing. And this is actually from a local artisan bread maker that I know here in town. And so I really wanted to support her local business. And so that's going to go in there. All right, at this point, it's starting to get pretty full and I've got it pretty layered. Um, so I don't think I'm going to be able to add everything that I wanted to add in here. I really think that these pickled beets would be a nice addition to this. So I am going to try to tuck them in. All right, I had a few other goodies that I could have put in there, but I, I'm pretty happy with this. So we've got the breadcrumbs and we've got everything layered underneath here to give. So this is basically a whole produce basket of things that I grew myself this year, which I'm really proud of and I'm, I'm happy to give this away. And then we've got the breadcrumbs for the stuffing some pickled beets as a nice pickle. I also bought this cranberry sauce, so I'm just going to tuck that right in there. I feel like this is an absolutely beautiful gift to give at Christmas time. And not only is it really going to help someone out with their food budget, but these are all things that didn't cost me anything now but they costed me a lot in time and effort throughout the year. So this is the reward of my hard work on our, in my garden. So there is my Christmas gift hamper. And like I said, this is going to my parents and I know that they're truly gonna appreciate this. I truly believe that there is a gift basket for every price point out there. And I'm going to be showing you two inexpensive, easy options that almost anyone will love. I'm going to be making a coffee lover's gift basket. And it's only going to include three items, the coffee, some cranberry biscotti, and a nice mug. And then I also have a chocolate lover's gift basket and I'm going to use hot chocolate. This costed about $5. I paid $3 for this mug at the dollar store. And I got this chocolate for $4.25. So this gift is under $15. And don't be scared to use dollar store items thrifted items. You can really mix and match and add new with old. And that can give it a little bit of charm as long as it's not an opened package of something that's already been used because that's kind of gross. But I'm just thinking collectible, collectible items, vintage items. You can add some of those into your baskets to make a statement. For these gift baskets, I'm going to be using these really nice tissue papers that I bought. These were only $3.99 a piece, which is so inexpensive. You get 20 sheets per pack. That can go a long ways. I'm going to be starting out with a base layer of this black. And the reason I'm doing that is because I think it adds a nice contrast.
And then I'm really liking this Santa print. So I think I'm going to use that on both of these baskets. I think that looks really festive and really pretty. And then I'm going to be adding a few of these branches. Just because that's the style I'm going for, but you can totally do it however you want. I just happen to think it looks really festive and Christmassy. And we can really bulk that up in there just, just to create a nice base to lift the bottom a little bit on these, just so that we have it raised up a bit. So that's probably good. And then for the coffee lovers, we've got our coffee, the biscotti, And, the, and a really nice mug. And I recommend not going too over the top Christmas with the mug because people are probably going to want to use it year round. So I feel like this is a fairly okay pattern. It's still Christmassy, but it's not over the top. Okay. So there we go. And it fits really compact in there. So that's just perfect. And then for the chocolate lovers, we've got our chocolate, hot chocolate, some really cute Santa chocolates, and then that nice mug, which was less expensive than this one, but I think it's still just as cute. So we've got our we've got our 30 25 to 30 dollar basket and we've got our 15 dollar basket and I think they're equally cute equally nice and someone is really going to appreciate these If you have a baker in your life that you want to gift this is a perfect gift option I happen to find this brand new Banneton basket, never been used, I can tell. And it came with this nice washable um, cover that you would use to put your sourdough bread in. And I went ahead and washed that just so that it's nice and fresh. And then I happen to also be a baker and I have my own sourdough starter. I fed my starter, I put it in this jar, and I made a nice little cover for it with a little tag explaining what it is and how to feed it. And of course, you can give them more information personally. I also found these cute Baker's flower sack cloths, and they've got festive patterns on them. I also found these vintage measuring cups, and they're copper. This is the one cup measure. There's a three quarter cup, a half cup and a quarter cup. And it is just so adorable. And like I said, don't be afraid to use thrifted items if they're vintage and they're really cool and unique. So I've got my Banneton ba basket. I'm not gonna put any tissue paper in here. We've got our flower sack cloths the sourdough starter and the measuring cups. I've also got a really simple gift basket idea for a child. And I really love the look of this small basket which really lends itself to just a small gift. And gifts don't always have to be big to be meaningful. 
And to put inside of it, I found this really cute felt mouse. It's actually a Christmas ornament. And I just thought it was the sweetest thing. And then I also have this bar of spicy hot chocolate. It's a dark chocolate. Now, depending on who you're giving this to, they might not appreciate spicy. Um, but this is just an example of a small gift that you can give. So I'm just really quickly going to line the basket. And then I've just got this little piece of greenery that I'm going to tuck in there. And then we're just going to put the chocolate and the mouse. And it's just very simple and it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. And I just think it's an adorable gift to give someone. So this is just a simple gift that you can give at the holiday season for a child. I've got this clear gift wrap, so we're going to wrap a few of the gifts up because I think it's a good way to contain the baskets especially if people are going to be putting them under their trees until Christmas. And I also have this really sparkly red ribbon, and I thought that could make a nice bow. It's got wire in it. But I just remembered that I also found these cellophane bags meant for baskets at the dollar store, and it was only $1.25. So let's see, let's see if these are going to work out. I think they might turn out perfect. So I'm not a huge fan on how big it is for this particular gift, but I think it's going to work well for the coffee ones. So here's the chocolate lovers basket, and I think that might turn out to be a good size. And then I'm just going to cut some of this ribbon to make a bow. And you definitely want to have a long enough piece of ribbon to, to make a nice sized bow. Okay, and then I would just pull that down as low as it's going to go. And then I like to cut the ribbon on an angle. Now these cellophane bags are definitely big enough for a large basket. So I'm probably going to trim the top a little bit here just so it's not so oversized. And then I'm probably going to tape these sides down just so they're not sticking out. But other than that, I think this looks really, really pretty. Here we have several gift options. For every price range, and I really think that you can make a gift basket for anyone if you pick a theme, and there's so many to choose from, from the chocolate lovers to the coffee lovers, but some other ideas could be a self-care basket, a men's grooming basket. Um, the options are really endless. I also had a couple of jars left over here that didn't fit in my baskets. I've got some salsa and some chutney. And if I was to make a basket with these, I would probably include some salsa chips and maybe a card game with this one. For the tomato apple chutney, I would probably include some crackers and some nice cheese. This is a really inexpensive way to give someone a really meaningful gift that comes from the heart, you are picking items that are based on that person's personality, and you're adding your own personality with the decor elements. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you visiting my channel. If you're new, consider subscribing. And 
I'll see you guys in next week's video. Take care, have a great day, and Merry Christmas.